Hi guys, it's Alice with the Vintage Galley team. So this is going to be my entry for My Style Stems. Uh, she's having a DT call and I'm excited to try out. So I'm using Beach Bum of the Little Girl image and I'm just going to use my Copics and color her up and I'm going to leave a little bit of music so you can see that process and then I'll come back and talk a little bit more about my project. Okay, so right here I'm getting a mason jar and I'm using just a plain acrylic paint and um, this is the second coat that you see me doing right here. I've already let it dry for about two hours and um, the paint chips off a little bit as far as the acrylic type of paint goes. Maybe I didn't purchase the right one but I just had that at hand and I wanted it to look very rustic either way, very just worn off type of paint. And um, my intentions with this is I want to make this into a perfect vacation fund jar. And so you'll see right here, right there I added some seam binding and I bought those from Candice. And she has um, tons of awesome seam binding in her Etsy shop. I'll leave the link below so you can check that out. Um, so right here I'm just uh, using the Stamping Up ink to add some color to the ends of that perfect vacation little um, cutout that I did and I just added fun there but what I didn't show you is that I went back and I did it a little bit thicker and I added some black stitching with just a regular pen I'm just uh, adhering that together with some glossy accents and I'm gonna hear her right on there <clears throat> And then I'm going to set that to the side so it could dry a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm going to just finish off the top of the lid. And this is just some scrap paper that I had. So um, I'm just going to punch it out with a two and a quarter punch. And that fits perfect in the lid of the mason jars. And that's finished. And that's pretty much it for this project. So that's, I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, doing this I, I'd been wanting to do this jar and several other jars that if you notice in the background on some of my paintings um, where I was painting the second uh, coat on it I have um, I have other jars other projects that are going to be going on so stay tuned for my next project okay for my second project I'm going to be using the stamp set sock hop and I'm going to be doing a Father's Day card 
And so I'm just going to put some music here so you can see my coloring. Okay, so right here I'm just putting um, the little car in the front and the Happy Father's Day there and I'm uh, using my glossy accents to adhere some of the gears and then right there that's um, some scrap paper that I had left over from the front of the matting papers so I'm just uh, stamping right in the center your groovy and then I'm going to add some enamel dots in the front and that's pretty much it I think that's all I do to this card and um, stay tuned for pictures and then I'll come back with my last project Okay, so I did do a third video process. I wasn't sure if I did or did not. But so the stamp set I'm going to be using for my third project is Wish I Was. And she's a really, really cute image. I love using her. I think I use her up a lot. And I'm going to actually use my Stamping Up uh, ink pads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of water and just get uh, some of that ink from the pad and just um, shade in on those uh, towels and I really like that and so I'm gonna let you all see the the rest of this little process I'm gonna be doing the towels and I'm gonna be coloring her up uh, right now you'll see the image and cutting them up and uh, just put some music on right here so you can see all that process
the right here all I'm doing is I'm working on the inner part of the card and like I said I love to use up the paper as much as I can I don't like to throw scraps or kind of I, I have a habit I have a bin actually and I put the scraps there which is good but I kind of have a big chunk already so I just really want to use the scraps as much as I can there and then with the same project so see I'm just adding that to the inner part of the card and I actually messed up I thought I was stamping the towels on the card of uh, that little piece of paper and I was doing the basket but by the time I realized what I was doing uh, it was just too late so I just left it as is and on the middle part or right there in the center I'm just putting again wish I was scrapping which is the same thing I did on the front part of the card and I wanted that black little uh, label that I put on the top I want it to look kind of like a chalkboard that chalkboard effect so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed my two cards and my fun jar and um i hope you like this nicole and just super excited to be part of the team so thank you so much for this opportunity to try out thank you Thank you.